15 months behind bars. Former House Speaker Dennis Hastert is going to prison. Mr. Hastert's legend and legacy are gone, and in its place are a broken, humiliated man. The judge calling Hastert a serial child molester, and in a courtroom bombshell, one of Hastert's victims chokes back tears as he describes, for the first time, being abused by his former wrestling coach. Mr. Hastert hurt his victims many decades ago, but today, they struck back. And with that, we say good afternoon. I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. Dramatic and powerful testimony today at the sentencing for Dennis Hastert. He now becomes the highest ranking politician in American history to be sentenced to prison. Hastert saying in court he's deeply ashamed. We have live team coverage of what happened in court and reaction from the town Hastert calls home. We begin with Derek Blakely, who was feet away from the former speaker when his punishment was announced. Derek. Erica and Rob, federal judge Thomas Durkin sentenced Dennis Hastert to more than twice the time in prison than prosecutors had recommended. A reflection not only of his outrage toward Hastert for lying to the FBI about his money crimes, but also that he did it to cover up years as a sexual predator. After a spectacular decades-long rise in Republican politics, Dennis Hastert's fall was even more dramatic, culminating today in a 15-month sentence for money laundering to conceal a history of molesting boys. Mr. Hastert's legend and legacy are gone, and in its place are a broken, humiliated man. That is as it should be. Even today, Haster didn't immediately acknowledge his predatory past. Addressing the court, he only admitted, I mistreated some of the athletes I coached. But federal judge Thomas Durkin called Haster a serial child molester. Haster paid out $1.7 million in hush money to Individual A, a molested member of Haster's Yorkville wrestling team who even now insists on anonymity. That prevented federal prosecutors from directly charging Hastert with sex crimes. We charged him with the crime we could charge him with. We followed the guidelines that were applicable to that, uh, that crime, and we respected the wishes of our victims. But Hastert originally told the feds individual A was extorting him, and Judge Durkin called that unconscionable. He was a victim of yours years ago, and you tried to make him a victim again. And most moving, testimony today from Scott Cross, younger brother of former House GOP leader Tom Cross, who tearfully told the court how Hastert abused him, stealing his innocence. It is unconscionable that decades have passed before this story could be told. But here we are, and so it is told. Now, due to his serious health ailments, the 74-year-old former speaker will serve his time in a federal prison hospital, but he won't have to report until the federal prison system tells Judge Durkin that a spot for him in such a facility has been found. Reporting live outside the Dirksen Federal Building, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Rob and Erica. All right, Derek, thank you.